Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, oxygen facials. I've been hearing this term a lot lately, it feels like, and seeing it everywhere. And even like back to last year, I think someone was telling me about them. And I'm like, what is it? Where does this oxygen come from? Where is it going? What does it do? Do I need one? And where do I sign up? So, I decided to find out what the heck an oxygen facial is and I got one, and today I'm here to spill the tea on all things Oxygen Facial, so let's get into it. First of all, we're gonna start with the research and what I read. So I googled quite a bit about what an Oxygen Facial was, what it does, benefits, blah 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 blah, the whole thing, so here's what I found. What it is basically is a stream of pressurized oxygen that's applied all over your skin with like a metal applicator, I'll insert a picture. Why oxygen? So oxygen, apparently, is naturally antibacterial, um, soothes and calms the skin, and then it's often, most of the time, mixed with like a serum, or um, I saw hyaluronic acid come up a lot, minerals, vitamins, etc. Point is, it's theoretically supposed to enhance the benefits that you get from all that stuff that's mixed in, because it helps the serums and everything else penetrate your skin and just go into your skin. So, if I take out my list of benefits, it's supposed to hydrate your skin immediately, make your face appear smoother and plumper. It also boosts collagen production, detox detoxifies the skin, so like negating the effects of pollution, sun damage, and like your crappy diet. <laughs> um, it repairs your skin as well. It's supposed to help regenerate skin cells, moisturize the skin, and then a glow make you radiant AF um, by removing the impurities on the top of your skin. So that's what it's supposed to do. And that all sounds lovely. Like, do we not all want to glow? Do we not all want ourselves to be regenerating, looking hella fresh all the time? Like, I do. Yes, sign me up. But then I kept reading and there's a lot of mixed reviews and like the science isn't completely there and um, this procedure isn't FDA approved, which like to be fair, a lot of these cosmetic procedures aren't, like they just don't have the research to back them up, which is like a little bit, but then also they're not harming you and it's topical, like it's not invasive. And just because something doesn't have research backing it up doesn't mean it doesn't work, right? They just might not have invested into research and doesn't mean it doesn't work. But um, I was reading an article and one of them had a doctor say that basically uh, oxygen facial is just like giving yourself a little bit of inflammation so that you look plump because I guess he was saying that the stream, like the puff of oxygen is just like pressure on the skin that just makes you like a little puffier so that you look plump and glowy. So he's not into it. And then some people swear about it. It's very backed by celebrities. There's tons. I read so many celebrity names that love this treatment. So yeah, mixed reviews. Then also I read that the effects don't last very long. So I think at most I saw four to seven days? I was gonna say weeks. Yeah, not even weeks, days. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, that sucks. The price varies from $150 to $300 from what I read again. And I'm like, that's a lot of money for four to seven days. Um, but I read, like I said, a lot of celebrities are into it. So it's a lot of celebrities using it um, prior to red carpets or big events for their skin to look the best on camera, like HD cameras and everything. So it kind of makes sense, but like for the everyday person like me, and then like myself who's a post-grad student whose pockets are very slim, <laughs> that's a lot of money to spend for four to seven day results for an event. Like. The only big event in my life that I would think to spend that money and that that would be worth it for only four to seven days would be my wedding and then hopefully like my honeymoon right after, but like that's really not a long time, right? But they did say that the benefits can be cumulative if you go regularly, but this is so much. Again, it's like $150. If you go once per week for a period of six weeks, like are we doing the math, you know? And then once a month after that to maintain your results and I'm like, Okay, like you're investing some cash into this, so I'm like, it better work, right? And then another concern that people have is the fact that it's oxygen, right? So quick little science lesson. So oxygen causes oxidative stress, which causes free radicals. And free radicals are not great for you, not great for your skin. Um, they damage your tissues. They are linked to wrinkles and fine lines and all that stuff. So I'm here thinking now, why am I gonna get oxygen blasted onto my skin, which may then cause 
free radicals, which then ages you and just does the exact opposite of the purpose of the treatment. I looked into that too, and apparently spokespersons from Insta Intraceuticals says that there's no proof of that. But I'm like, well, of course there's no proof. Like there's no proof that this works anyway, so there wouldn't be any proof that it does the opposite you know but then again i do agree to a certain level because i mean there is oxygen in the air that we breathe and like move through every day so the amount of oxygen that they use during the tri treatment doesn't seem like it would be that much more than literally just walking through life so i don't know if it's like something to be seriously worried about but that's as far as my science knowledge goes i don't know <laughs> So anyways, I went to get this facial. I was invited by the Ottawa Wellness Spa to come get a treatment. So I'll insert a clip right here of my skin prior to the treatment. I think this is like at the most an hour before my treatment. My skin does tend to be like really dehydrated and then overproduced oil. The oxygen facial definitely like appealed to me because uh, one of the biggest things about it is hydration and glowy and plump skin. So I was down. Um, so yeah, this is my skin before. Um, it's a little lackluster, I will say. Like looking back at the footage now, I'm like, yeah, my skin looks a little dull. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, make I'm 100% makeup free. I just have moisturizer in that clip. And then I think I had filled in my eyebrows that day. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, I will just insert the clip right now of me getting my first oxygen facial. <laughs> Okay, so you guys saw all the steps. I hopefully have labeled all the steps nicely and it was clear to you what was going on during the facial. So um, when I got to the spa, I did ask our, the girl that did the facial for me like what this was good for and just wanted to see like if it was on par with everything that I was reading online. And she recommends this facial for someone that hasn't gotten a facial in a really long time because it's not super abrasive. Like it's just like a nice facial to get. Um, when you haven't done anything to your skin in a long time. Um, she did say it was good for resurfacing, which does match up with everything that I saw online, like the skin cell uh, regeneration, all that. Um, she did also say it plumps your skin, makes your skin smoother, um, hydration, and the glow is like the big thing. So my experience was okay. Uh, I did the facial uh, right after, definitely my skin was glowing. But I don't know that it's because this was particularly an oxygen facial you know what i mean like i don't know that if i had gone to do a insert your favorite facial that my skin wouldn't have been like it was after this facial my skin was definitely glowy it was definitely smooth um, i didn't wear makeup the rest of the day um, you can tell my skin looks less like gray like it did i had a little gray tinge before and then after my skin is like super glowy I look really warm in the face like there's blood flow going in there you know <laughs> I wasn't fully convinced honestly after I was like cool like I got a massage it was nice it, like it was definitely relaxing like, I did enjoy a little pamper but was it like magical miracle like I was like okay like eh, eh. and then the next day it was going out so I put makeup on and then I was like wait a second is my skin a little like today like I don't know maybe I don't know and also I had a lot of time to get ready so maybe maybe it was my application technique I was going real slow with it I don't know 
um, but I did find that my skin was still smooth and then makeup application went just like a little nicer you know like just a little bit I don't know there's something there and then I went out during the day and I was with my mom so you know what let's call my mom and see if she knows anything Hi mom Hello. Okay, you're on camera right now. I'm filming. I just want to know yesterday. Did my skin look different to you? Uh, no, it was uh, the same. It was the same? I wasn't like extra yeah. glowy? No. No? Okay. You are glowy, but as usual. As you, oh, my normal level of glowy. Yes. Okay, thanks. I'll call you later. Okay, but can I argue with my mom? No, she said I wasn't glowy. <laughs> Moms are always right. She didn't notice, so I don't know. Oxygen facials, I don't know. But then that day, yesterday, I came home and I was talking to Dustin. I was in the middle of a sentence and he like interrupted me and was like, whoa, your skin looks so good. And I was like, thank you. So did Bay notice and did mom not? Like, I don't know. I really don't know. Today, um, my skin still feels smooth. It does feel... Like, I can't tell how glowy it is because my skin is really oily and I'm always glowing, you know? <laughs> I can say it. Oxygen facial will definitely make your skin feel smoother. It will definitely give you, like, a right away post-glow. Did I feel plumper? No. I do have some fine lines. Did I feel like they're improved right after? Really, no. Like, they're the same. I really didn't find any changes. And also, I think I did in one of the articles, but then not any of the other ones, so I don't know how like accurate that claim is. But they did say that it helps hyperpigmentation, and I have hyperpigmentation, and nothing has changed. Like my skin is really exactly the same in terms of hyperpigmentation. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to settle on these things, especially having only done one treatment. Like I would love to be able to do the once a week that's recommended and really see if there's a real difference in my skin. But like your girl is not about to spend $150 every week like we're not there yet but when we get there maybe I will do that video <laughs> but like would I go back for one honestly probably just because it's a facial like you paid $150 you enjoyed yourself you feel like your makeup is applying a little better you're glowing a little bit more maybe like your boyfriend says your skin looks nice, like, I don't know. Is it worth it? I really don't know. I honestly cannot decide. I've been debating for so long because I wanted to position myself at the end of this video and say like, yes, oxygen facials are worth it or no, oxygen facials aren't worth it, but maybe, maybe they're worth it. I think it just depends on you and how much you're willing to spend and what your expectations are actually. Yes, that's a good point. What are your expectations after this oxygen facial? Like if you want to be glowing for a year, then like, no, they're not worth it because we know that they will last like four to seven days. Anyways, you guys be the judge. Let me know. Do I look more glowy? Literally go back in my last video, the one before, and then come back to this one. You tell me, do I look more glowy today? Am I radiant AF? Does my skin look soft AF? I want to know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you guys have had an oxygen facial yourself. What did you think? Did you think it was worth it? Would you do one again? And like the video if you like it. If you don't, don't. <laughs> and definitely don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!